Welcome back to Loot Party Game, <laughs> Corona Edition, where play remains a priority. Given that things are so difficult right now, we realize that you have limitations on being able to hang out with loved ones and friends. So we wanted to provide you some really cool tools to be able to do just that. Let's go to the lab. Today we're talking about how to play games with friends online. We all know there's lots of ways to connect with people online, like Zoom, Google Hangouts, the other one. But today we're talking about Discord. Welcome to Discord. What sets Discord apart from the other guys is four simple things. One, it's free. Two, you've got voice and screen share technology. Three, no restrictions on time limit. And four, it's in H freaking D. Now, let's get you set up. Okay, first things first, you are going to go to discordapp.com. Once you're there, click the download toggle and you will see a bunch of options for different devices that you can download on, including Mac, Android, iOS, and Linux. And this works for all mobile as well. So click on the one that works for you. Now, right when you download the app, you're gonna be given an option to create a server. My current setup is kind of get crazy, but where you will see a plus is up in the top left. So it'll look just like this. You're gonna click add a server. Upon adding, you're gonna choose either to create or join a server. So if you're creating, you're gonna create. If you're joining, you're gonna join. By creating a server, nice. it's gonna ask you what you wanna name it. So just go ahead and fill out whatever you want and then click create. Now, once you've created the server, you're gonna notice a few things. The far left side, there are your servers. To the right of that, you're gonna have your text and voice channels. You'll be able to create these later. And in the middle, you're gonna have whichever channel you are a part of uh, in your server. And on the far right, you're gonna have everybody that's a part of that server. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna set up a text channel and a voice Hello. channel. The text channel just allows you to be able to chat with everybody that's playing. The voice channel, however, is enables you to actually talk with whoever's in that channel. How you create a text or voice channel is by pressing the little plus button and indicating which one you want it to be. I would highly recommend that you would have both a text channel and a voice channel to be able to connect with everybody that comes through. Now, as you can see here, I have created three text channels. I have created three voice channels. The text channels, when you click on them, you can just join in and, and chat. So now we're gonna talk about voice channels. When you click on a voice channel you create, it puts you inside the channel. And as I talk, you'll see the green circle light up as I do so. So if somebody else were to join, say my wife, Hey. Oh, hey there. You can also see their little bar light up as well when they talk. Hi. You're doing great, babe. Aww. Now, if you want to leave, all you have to do is click the disconnect button. Or if you want to mute yourself, click the mute button. Also, if there's a lot of people in the channel, I would highly recommend that you mute yourself after you're done talking. To be able to navigate stuff for your server, you want to go up to the very top left. This is where all of your server settings are located. So if you click server settings, one thing that I want to recommend is recognizing the difference in roles. Roles essentially are the ability to give permissions to certain people or take those away. So if you want people that come to your community, but you don't want them to be able to use voice chat, you don't want them to be able to do certain things, you can adjust all of these things here. So you can create a role and administer what you want that role to do. There's a pretty good explanation of everything inside each of the roles, so it'll give you a good indicator of what you're trying to do. If you are joining something and you don't want any of those pesky notifications, you're just gonna click on the top and go to your notifications. You can decide to suppress everything or suppress specific things right in this tab. Also, it's worth mentioning, there are a lot of bots you can add to your server, and I'm not gonna get into that right now, but I'll list a few down below in the description to talk about specific bots that might be cool to add to moderate your server. Now, we gotta add some friends. And if you don't have friends, that's on you. But if you wanna add some that you already have, all you have to do is click the top server, drop down, click invite people, copy the link and send them to the people that you want to invite into your server. Aww. It's worth mentioning that Discord has an app on all phones. So if you have an Android or iOS uh, phone, you can download Discord on there just the same, which is a really cool feature to continue being connected with everybody while you're on the go. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is show you how to set up 
the stream portion of Discord. Uh, how to do so is pretty simple. All you do is load the application of your choice. So let's open up Drawful 2. Once the game is loaded, you'll notice Discord does something quite particular. It opens up an option down at the bottom left above your username settings that says Drawful 2. What you do is you want to click Stream Drawful 2 to the right of it. And what this will do is it will open up the ability to stream that program. So now all you have to do is choose what you want to stream to. So let's choose Game Voice since we're streaming a game. Once you click Go Live, that's simply what it does. It now has Drawful streaming in the background. As you can see, you can move this around. You can also pop this out if you want to or invite your friends by clicking the little invite tab. If you want to check out your settings for what you are outputting at, just go ahead and click the stream setting cog wheel inside the browser. And what will happen is, is it'll pull up what the stream quality is and what the frame rate is. This is what makes Discord so amazing is you can output incredible HD content to all of your friends and family. Once you have connected the game with Discord, you will notice that off to the left, there will be a live button. Now, if somebody wants to join, all they would have to do is click on the person and join the stream. There will be an option right here for you to join the stream. And when you do that, people will be able to see exactly what you see on their screens. Then what you would do is just open up the game itself and play. And everybody that joins will be able to play alongside you. All right, good luck, everybody. Oh, oh what? What? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? By easy, I mean really hard. <laughs> it, a goth panda? No. Yeah. No. Oh, you guys. <laughs> you need oh. I'm so sorry. Shoot. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure none of you guys are gonna get this. Okay. Here. <laughs> you're a freak. No, you're a freak. Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> wow, and it's Pride and Prejudice? Are you serious? Yeah, that was it. <laughs> yes. How is that How pride is that and prejudice? Pride and prejudice, Jeff. Literally, I told you I'm sorry. I didn't know what to draw. Oh my gosh. I love this game, honestly. It's, it's so, so good. Fun. It's such a great game. Thank you guys. Okay, Can everybody, everybody say bye at the same time? Loot party game. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a little bit on our Discord. If you need help, be sure to leave a comment in the video below. We'll try to help you out as much as possible. We hope that this is a great tool for you to connect with the people that you love during this really hard season. If you need some recommendations on some games, we're gonna leave some below and you can do that in post editing, it's pretty rad. Have yourself a good day and a good game and we'll see you soon.